Ah, you caught me playing Bike Bites. It's part of this Stranger Things arcade thing. It's got a bunch of games and Stranger Things on it, so I just had to buy it and... Oh, thank God. I don't know how much longer I could have talked about this. Ah, that must mean it's that time of year again, where fireworks fill the air, gunshots trying to pretend to be fireworks, and movies are shit. Yep, it's a dreaded month, January, also known as the Monday of Months. If you don't know, January is a month where major film studios release films that they either have little to no faith in, or just the shuffleboard of the film industry. Throughout the years, January films have been at best below average, and at worst, some of the worst things ever conceived by man. Say for example, 2016, which was not only the year we got Pokemon Go, and subsequently many car accidents, but one of the worst Januarys in a while. They range from painfully average, to boring and forgettable, to laughably bad and HA! This is why people argue anime films are for children. Yeah, films like these are why box office numbers are usually really low in January. Because no one goes out and says, Yes, I want to see the film about a dancing polar bear. Like, who does that? Despite that, there are some good films that released during this month. Like Kung Fu Panda 3, Split, and Dragon Ball Super Broly. And also Disappointments. Yeah, whenever I see releasing in January on an anticipated film, I'm like, yeah, that's probably not gonna be very good. Take, for example, Glass. Everyone was looking forward to that, just like everyone was looking forward to Split. Glass was, uh, not that. I think David Dunn go out like a little bitch. That drowned a puddle. Come on, a puddle? Really? Sure, whatever. While those are good, nothing excuses the amount of sh horror that releases during this month. It's just generic plots and jump scares over and over and over again. And good god, don't get me started on all the same tropes, like the music fading up for a jump scare and stuff appearing and disappearing in the background. Also, these horror films are just really forgettable. Who remembers the forest and the devil inside? Just don't go see films in January. They are sent there to die for a reason. I mean, yes, there are some good films, but if you're gonna go see a film in January, at least do your research. And speaking of January, my motto is I judge decades based on whatever comes out first. What is it this decade? We're fine.